I don't know about you, but as a project manager, I spend a lot of time reading long documents. And I'm not going to lie, by the end of the day, my head hurts. My eyes hurt. There's got to be an easier way to reduce eye strain when you're reading large amounts of data in Word. Guess what? There is. I'm going to show you just one of my little tips or tricks. And I'm, I'm also going to show you something that you'll probably never use, but I need to generate some text so that you can see how it works without sitting here and boring you with typing out a bunch of text. If you take a look, I've got two formulas here. Now, the first one is equals lorem, left paren, p and l, and the other one is equals rand with p and l as well. p is paragraph, l is lines. And basically, if you've ever wondered, like when you look at websites that are not created yet, they're trying to show you the placement of text, you might have noticed that it's all in Latin. Now, if you don't want Latin, then you can use rand, which would be the, the word gobbledygook that they put in there. So I'll show you what this looks like just so we can generate some text, and then I'll show you how to save your eyes a little bit on the back end. So if you take a look, equals lorem, P stands for paragraphs, and L stands for lines. So let's say I want 10 paragraphs, and I want 100 lines, all right? And let me get rid of the I there lines, L, I mean. Now, click at the end of it, and just like any other formula, when you hit enter, it's going to generate text. So you can see, yeah, it's all Latin, and it might not make any sense, but it is a long document, and it does give me the opportunity now to show you my quick eye-saving technique. Rand, if you want to see this, we can do paragraphs 10, and let's say how many lines, maybe we'll just do 50 lines, and we'll click outside of it and hit enter. You can see, all right, all sorts of like random words here. Now, if you're reading tons and tons of text like I am, this is over 6,000 words, it's 43 pages, there's a ton of information that I need to review. How can I do this and save my eyes without changing the background color of the actual document itself? You can go up to View, go up to the View tab. Now, I want to go into Read Mode. Now, I know a lot of you probably use read mode. It zooms in a little bit, and it's good for us that are having losing our eyesight as we get older. But there's another way to view in read mode that might make it a little bit easier. If you go up to view, you'll see a lot. You'll see edit document. That'll take you back to Word. But if you come down here to page color and go to sepia, whoo. Made me relax just right there. It totally tones down the brightness of whatever it is that you're looking at. And as you scroll through, you can see it's a little bit easier to read. Um, if you wanted to inverse, you totally could. I mean, you, you could do that. Um, it might be even more difficult on your eyes. But I like the sepia. It gives me the opportunity to really just sort of relax and read through without straining my eyes. So even though you might not want a bunch of random Latin text or random text that has to do with Microsoft and different ways of doing things, at least this way, if you have large documents, you're able to go up to that read view and change it a little bit and make it a little bit easier on the eyes. And you'll notice if I go back to view and I go to edit document, it takes me right back where I was and nothing has changed with the page color, so you don't have to worry about that. It's an eye saver for sure, and you learned a quick, cool little formula that you can show other people if you're wasting time at work. But otherwise, Read a little bit easier when you read through your Word documents.